Okay, here's an update on the Ragnar Electric Bikes solar charging project. As I said on the first one, um, we already can do solar charging from anywhere with this, but the point of this little project is to make it so that you can take your bike and a little solar charger and solar charge from anywhere while cycle touring, not just while you are towing a massive trailer around on the back of your car. So we have, for our test purposes, some small panels, but still not portable. They are representative though of, a, uh, of the type of panels you can get that are really lightweight and roll up. And last time we just literally had the panels wired into this little boost converter and then had that charging the bike batteries. At the moment we're on my joint favourite, the Nuke Proof. Super good bike with a Bafang BBS02 added to it. Yep, it's amazing. Anyhow, sidetrack. What I found with that was that this guy was really terrible at managing the solar panels. It just drew the voltage right down. Didn't have, obviously didn't have any MPPT, MPPT, that was maximum power point tracking or even PWM ability on it. So I've added, I've taken a back step, step backwards in terms of portability, but a step forwards in terms of function, as in how good it is at charging. So I've used one of these old um, charge controllers that I've had knocking about for ages. And this, as it says upside down, MPPT, is awesome for getting the absolute max out of the sun. So at the moment, we are getting a little bit, let's see, you can read upside down, can't you? So we've got a little bit coming out of the sky. We've got a lot going into the um, boost converter. And then we've got a whole bunch of useless information. And back to that. So yeah, this is managing what's coming out of this. This is managing the solar panels really well to get really good power out of the solar panels. Downside with this is it's one more thing to carry. It's not that big. I mean, I've got big hands. It's smaller than my hands. The real downside, though, is that it needs, for this cable, a 12-volt battery of some sort. So there is our step backwards in terms of portability. <laughs> you don't really want to be cycling around with one of those. However, this is all steps down the line to getting something good made. So I don't know if we could use... A real small, you know, bunch of little eights, like three eighteen six fifties. That would make roughly twelve. Um, or if we could just literally throw a capacitor in somewhere, so that it's, you know, it's got some little buffer, but no weight at all, or virtually no weight comparatively. And then, of course, the ultimate goal would be to convert, combine, a tracker charge controller, and a boost converter into one little dongly box so that you could just carry it around easily. Have them as two roll-ups, have one small box, probably the same size as that, and that would be all you'd need beyond having your bike. So yeah, I've got this thing going really nicely. It's currently charging the battery at about three and a half amps. Um, and when there's more sun, then can go straight into the battery, it's putting it into the car battery. And when there's less sun, as per now, because it's a bit grey and misty, yeah, not a beautiful day, it can draw down from the car battery, putting it into there. So yeah, we maybe some some capacity here to sort of smooth out the peaks and the troughs. Or maybe accept that we just take directly into the bike battery what what there is available and I mean that's that's our storage so it's silly to have two lots of storage I would say. Anyhow thank you for listening to a little bit of rambling that is update two on the uh, Raglan electric bikes mobile solar charging project um, hopefully update three will have something more functional still Maybe I'll look into getting a little capacitor over there instead of that 12 volt battery. And maybe by update 93, you'll have a little thing you can buy that's 
this big and um, costs 20 cents and will solve all of your power needs ever. Maybe not, but you know, we can hope. All right, thank you for watching. Ragnar Electric Bikes signing out.